So, your landscape needs a facelift. Here's where to start. All right. Get your pens and paper, children. This is going to be a couple of segments where you're going to want to take notes. Are you going to tear out your plants? Or are you going to try to fit other things in? Um, if you're going to try to match, like trying to find large shrubs, like this year we, we understood like where uh, people were trying to, they had old landscapes and they had like maybe a section of that landscape die and they wanted to match like a three foot uh, by four foot rhododendron. We had brought some of those big rhododendrons are just to plug in that, that size to, to replace um, but most of the time, large shrubs are going to be hard to find. You know, you can always cut back your existing plants in your landscape and make them smaller. So don't fear the shears. So don't fear the shears because you can always cut them back and make them smaller. But honestly, in the long run, it will be easier if you just started with a blank canvas. If you keep trying to find plants that that like for instance the cheaper the plant the faster it grows the more maintenance it's going to need to be kept to size so just keep that in mind just keep that in mind you need to measure so say you rip everything out and before we go into measurement it's the plant's full grown size that will determine your bed shape your bed shape you know, you can't fit a round plant in a square bed without it becoming a maintenance issue. So you're, you're going to have to think. It's like, all right, the plants will, will, this is the type of plants and they grow three by three. So I have to make sure that it may be only 18 inches now, but it will grow, it will grow to three by three. So that's the size of the bed that I'm going to make based on its full grown size. And that's how I'm going to determine the shape, whether it's a lazy S or whether it's, if you're looking to do something square, like where you just have a hedge, you're going to determine what type of plant that is, but you also still, how big can you let it grow before you start damaging it? And that's where the helpful garden center guy is going to, going to help you there. Yeah, how but, many times do we have customers come in and say, oh, you know, my whole garden is overgrown. <laughs> right. So, now we got to rip everything out. <laughs> and it's like, all right, you, you need to do it. Yeah, you got to do it. Um, but, you know, it's also, it, it's <laughs> take your measurements. That's so good. measure the house, measure, you know, and, and get an idea of where that's going to be, <clears throat> how wide you want the bed to eventually get, because um, that will help. I mean, <laughs> it's. It's not just the length and the width of the area. It's the heights of windows, exposure, you know. And, and let me just say, how often? Do we have, this is a major project. And it, and also, it, it can be expensive. How often do we have people? It's like, oh, I got a section. It's like, you know, from here to there. Right. But I've never been to your house. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yeah. what here to there is. You know, and then you'll try to say, it's like, all right, if the bed starts here, where do you think it is? And like, you know, <laughs> And, uh, and of course, the husband says it's this big, but the wife says, no, it's not. It's this big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you're really confused. <laughs> it's like, oh. you do the, we do the best that we can, folks. Yeah, but but it, if you bring measurements, then we can lay it out right in front of you and we can place the actual plants that you would buy and that you would put in and that you can see how it looks together. So again, bring measurements, especially the heights of windows. Uh, there's one uh, a development in town where instead of having traditional like three foot high window, its windows are 18 inches high off the ground. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like you can put mulch. Yeah, <laughs> but, but it, what happens is you've got to use like a, a lower type of plant that only gets to be that that height, and that a lot of folks don't think about that. And all of a sudden, the windows are all covered up, and we don't we don't want that. Yeah, another situation is your beds are only like two foot, you know, and by you know by ten foot, it's like, whew, you know, I'm trying to fit anything two in. Two foot, I, I, you know, it's like. How about we make that bed a little bigger? But a lot of times it's sidewalks that yeah. that make it small, right. and I blame the builders. Yeah. I've had some discussions. They forget about that with builders that. Yeah, 
were somewhat heated, but they yeah. they were building the house for building the house sake, not thinking of the landscape as part of your home, but it is. Your landscape will absolutely bring more value to your home than even a new bathroom. It, it, it is the, the, the one thing that you can do. If you're selling your house, tear it out, do a new landscape, you'll be amazed. You, you can easily double your money from what you spent on the landscape. Amazing. So, and, and here's something that, are you sitting down, everybody? Well, hopefully. This is what a landscape is supposed to cost. 10% of the value of the home. Did you hear me? 10% of the value of the home. I've got about $200. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. it's like, uh, well, that'll it's get like, you what? <laughs> Not it's like, wow. Few perennials here and there. <laughs> right. And, and then what happens is that you get like plants that grow so fast because they're cheap. You get cheap plants because they grow fast and a, guy, and a nurseryman can produce them quick. And then all of a sudden, it's outgrowing the landscape. And I, yeah, it's, personally, yeah. I, I, that drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. Always, always. And, and this is, there are some people that are really over-prepared for this question. Uh, my exposure is is full sun because it faces the, the west and the east and the south all at the same time. <laughs> and that it gets full sun. <laughs> You know, and then you have the other folks that say, no, I have all shade. I have all shade. I say, really? Are you like underneath trees and things? No, it just faces the uh, north side. Reflected sun gives you more sun than you account for, okay? Full sun, I mean, every nursery plant is grown in full sun. It's not, they're not hiding hydrangeas in the shade somewhere. You know, they're grown in full sun. They're just, you know, not watered in the bright time of the day and... When you have shade, real shade is when you have large shade trees that surround your house. That's shade. You know, sun is southern all day sun. Part shade. There you go. What's the difference between part shade and part sun? <laughs> Two hours? I don't know. It's basically the it's basically the same as far as the plants are concerned. And you can really get the majority of all plants. To grow yeah, in that kind of condition and that where shade plants will grow in the sun okay with maybe some care like for instance that you don't want them to get leaf burn by how they're watered but where sun where shade plants um you know as sun plants can't necessarily grow in the shade but again if you have part shade part sun you could pretty much grow anything I love when somebody's actually timed the amount of hours they have. They I get four yeah. hours on. Yeah, I say really. Oh, like, yeah. Well, you know, June twenty second, you yeah. probably have. You know, there, there's twelve hours of daylight. <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah. Do you still get four hours of sun? It's like, oh, I don't know. So again, it, it's the amount of sun and that it changes uh, throughout the year. Like, uh, like we're getting less and less sun. Uh, and until we get to the 22nd of December. And guess what, folks? Then the sun switches around and we start getting every day. We get more and more sun. Love that. So, again, it's it's going to be one of those things. Keep an eye on, on what you're, where you're putting your plants. Measurements are key. And don't try to fit your plants in the old bed, sca- the old, uh, bed shape. You can change your bed shape now. You know, you can cut it back and make it smaller and, and I guess, put whether it's your lawn was, was there or you can do other things. Um, but just get your, your house's uh, dimensions, heights of windows. And then if you are restricted, like by a sidewalk or something along those lines where you can only go so far, those are definitely a requirement that you need to address. Anything to add, Julio? Yeah, this is a great start. You know, to, to look at space is so important. You know, we we always have to deal with that. Yep, yep, and it's it's the right plant in the right, right spot, and that, that's what uh, every local garden center is trying to do because they want you as a lifelong customer, not as a one and done customer. So 